Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing well. Um, I have a new camera, so I feel really out of sync with where I'm meant to be looking. So if I seem like I'm looking elsewhere or into space, it's probably because I'm like confused about the camera. Because I normally used to phone a phone. I used to record on my phone, but I've upgraded. I've upgraded to a proper camera. So hopefully this is going to mean that the content on my channel is going to be even more amazing than it's already been. Today, I wanna talk about probably one of the topics which I'm most passionate about, and it is psychology, it's mindset. How can you really hack into your psychology, into your thoughts, into your brain to enable you to achieve your goals and particularly you know like we talk about on this channel your weight loss goals like i always say diet nutrition exercise those are some of the superficial things that actually you can get a plan and try and follow it but if you don't work on your mindset if you don't work on your brain if you don't work on your thoughts then it's going to be hard for you to take action let's talk about psychology tricks that you can use to help you lose weight the first thing is to surround yourself with like-minded people this is one of the reasons why i created the facebook group that i have we have over two 2000 women inside that group i will link it in the description below this is a community of women who are all on the same journey to feel healthy to lose weight and to do it in a way which is actually easy for them when you're around people who have the same thought patterns as you people who have the same goal people who are thinking in the same way you boost each other up because we all know when you're with that friend who likes to laugh and likes to have fun you automatically become this person who is laughing and joking whereas if you're with a friend who is like a bit of a moody person then you kind of find yourself becoming a bit more like them the people that we're around they have a huge impact on us that's why it's important that when you're on a weight loss journey when you're trying to achieve a goal that you have if you're around people who are trying to do similar things who are also pushing themselves in the right direction to make changes in their lives it's going to make it so much easier for you to also do the same thing because you're around people who are going to boost you you're around people who are going to push you in the same direction as them and not leave you behind if you're somebody who's trying to lose weight can you find people who are of a similar thought pattern to you that might be people in your own life is there somebody else in your life who's also trying to be on a similar journey to you or is there a community that you can join online like my facebook group that i mentioned that is a community where we have lots of women who come together and support each other but also with my new program the mama's weight loss academy the whole idea is that we work together in unison as a community to help you achieve the goal that you have find people who are on the same path as you because that is going to go a huge way number two is so important it's this whole comparison game. Just don't do it. Don't compare yourself to someone else. Your journey is your own journey. Where you are right now is your own kind of position. And where your friend is, is their own position. You've come from a different background. You've come from different experiences. You've come from, you know, everything about you is different than the person that you're next to. We are a product of the society that we live in. We're, in, we're a product of our upbringing. We're a product of our experiences. We're a product of our resources and everything that we have in our life has an impact on us and so no two people are exactly the same and when you're on a journey to lose weight the thing that's led you to put on weight might be you know you you had traumatic period you had traumatic pregnancies and that led you to put on weight and you struggled with losing the weight because you ha were dealing with so many things after you had a baby for someone else it might be they didn't really put on weight when they were pregnant but they've put on weight because they've got emotional issues that they need to deal with so everyone's journey is different and if we compare ourselves all we do is we belittle the success that we've had we belittle the steps that we've taken and the progress that we've made because we're comparing ourselves to someone else we're comparing ourselves to people who are on a completely different journey to us yeah the goal might be the same the goal might be to lose weight or the goal might be to be able to exercise or whatever it is but you're two separate people and what's led you to be in the situation you're in is going to be different to what's happen for someone else so don't compare yourself to anyone stay in your own lane look at where you're going look at where you've progressed to and focus on that focus on where you're going and focus on the things that have enabled you to get to where you are and then keep working keep growing and keep pushing yourself in the right direction at your speed in your own way number three is to focus on doing fun movement i say this because your brain is automatically going to resist something that is not fun that it doesn't want to do because you don't find it enjoyable if we can harness that part of us where we get excited and where we are enjoying something that's going to make you want to do it more often so like if you're somebody 
who enjoys playing PlayStation or you enjoy cooking or you enjoy baking, those things cause you to feel happy, right? Because it's releasing different chemicals in your brain that are basically happy hormones and happy chemicals. If you're trying to do something that is, you know, something you don't really like, something that's not enjoyable, something that's not really your thing, like let's say you don't like going to the gym but you're trying to force yourself to go to the gym, are you going to want to do it? Of course you're not going to want to do it because it makes you just feel blah and your brain's like, hey girl, you don't like going to the gym so why are you trying to force yourself? So as soon as you find, you know, like a loophole where you can be like, oh, I'm not going to go, like, oh, the, kid, the kids have been really doing my head in today so I just don't have the energy to go oh you know so and so is not feeling that great so I'm just going to stay home and look after them you find any little excuse I mean I'm not saying that looking after your kids are an excuse but like you find any little loophole to be like oh you know it's okay for me not to go because xyz is happening you do that because you don't actually enjoy what you're doing but actually if you were to find a type of movement that you enjoy that might be walking that might be hiking that might be going swimming that might be taking up a team sport something that you enjoy you're much more likely to then run to do it and to actually put plans in place to make it happen because you enjoy it so don't try to force yourself to do things that isn't enjoyable to you because then your motivation isn't really there that can lead you to just be like can't be bothered not going to do it fall off the wagon and then spend a few more weeks telling yourself that you're fat and ugly and stupid because you weren't able to manage it you're setting yourself up for this horrible failure because you're basically trying to make yourself do something you don't want to do number four is one of my favorite mindset hacks as it were, is to be kind to yourself. It is proven. If you are kind to yourself, you are much more likely to be able to achieve your goals. Why? It's simple. If you are kind to yourself, if you if you like yourself and you're actually treating yourself well, then you're gonna do all those things that are in alignment with being kind and being good to yourself. Whereas if you say to yourself, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm stupid, and you call yourself names and you, you don't really actually embrace who you are and, and you don't enjoy being you, then why on earth are you gonna take the time and the effort to cook a good healthy meal and to go and exercise and to do all those things that are the practical elements of losing weight you're not going to want to do them because you're you're kind of like well why am I worth it I'm not worth it I'm stupid I'm fat and you're, you're going to have all those names and those bad terms going around in your head and that's going to stop you from taking action whereas if you're somebody who is like you know what I am amazing I love myself I am beautiful. I am going to do all those things that's going to make me feel good about myself. I'm going to be drinking water. I'm going to be going out for my walks. I'm going to be doing my exercise because I am the best person. And you know, that that positive aspect of where you talk to yourself in a nice way, that's going to really push you to treat yourself well and to do all the things that matter. You love your kids right and you love them unconditionally you're going to be kind to them you get boosted every time you see them doing something and so you go out of your way to make them happy you go out of your way to do all the things that you need to do for them because you have that love for them treat yourself like you're somebody who you like like yourself be kind to yourself and that is going to make such a big change to you trying to implement the changes that you're trying to make in your life number five is something you guys have probably heard me talk about before because this is like the key I mean, I'm saying all of them are key. They, they all make a massive difference when you're trying to lose weight. These are all psychological elements that are really, really important. Being positive about yourself and noticing the positives is so important. We are naturally negative people. You know, it's just this negative bias that we have that's there to protect us from certain situations. But obviously in the modern day, it's gone poof and is like just not applicable all the time so therefore we only ever see the negatives because that's just how we've programmed ourselves but you can take yourself out of that you can make the choice to be like you know what i'm not going to be this negative person anymore i am going to be someone positive and you do that by focusing on the positives every day you can take two minutes just think what was a positive thing that happened today what was a positive thing that i did today what was positive about life today that goes a long way because it will slowly start meaning that you're someone who looks for those positives and as you start looking for those positives you're going to start seeing those positives your eyes are going to open up to seeing them if you literally feed yourself with negativity you are just going to see negative because your glasses are always going to be turned to that like negative lens whereas if you start training yourself to think more positively and look for positives you're then going to see a switch in those lenses that allow you to see positives even without realizing and that's how you want to be because when you're on a weight loss journey when you're on a journey to achieve any goal if you're not able to see the progress that you're making if you're not able to see that things are going in the right direction if you're not able to find positives even when things are maybe not going the way that you planned if you're not able to do those things you're going to find yourself slipping back into that cycle where you're like i can't do this I'm just fat. 
I'm just ugly and I'm never gonna lose weight and I'm never gonna feel amazing, I'm never gonna be happy. You have that negative chatter in your mind and the more you feed yourself those thoughts, the more they become a belief. And when they become a belief, you then just live in that kind of zone and you don't allow yourself to move out because you don't believe that you can. So looking for those positives is so important in rewiring the way that we think. Number six, and that is to make your identity to be this healthy person. We often find ourselves trying to force ourselves to be someone we're not because we don't believe that we are that person. So when you're trying to be this healthy person, you tell yourself right now I'm not healthy, right now I don't have healthy behaviours, right now I'm not somebody who is a healthy person, but I want to be that person. I want to eventually become this healthy person. But then those things aren't really connected because in, on one side you're literally thinking that I'm not that person and then on the other side you're like I want to be that person. But you're not going to behave like that person if you don't believe that you are that person. We choose to believe what we are, we choose the beliefs that we have. So if you start saying to yourself, I am this healthy person, this is the person that I am, I am somebody who is going to exercise, I'm somebody who's going to eat healthy and look after her sleep and have self-care. If you say you are a person who does those things, then you are going to behave in that way and you are going to behave like that person would. Whereas if you say to yourself, you know, I'm somebody who wants to lose weight, but I'm just like lazy, I'm a lazy person, and that's why I don't exercise. Are you going to start exercising? No, because you're telling yourself you are a lazy person, therefore you are going to behave like a lazy person. So instead of that, say to yourself, I'm someone who exercises. I am somebody who goes out for walks. I am somebody who does all of these things. And then you're going to start behaving like that person because you are that person and that is your identity. So I hope that you guys have found this video useful. I want to know in the comments below, are you somebody who is going to start thinking more positively or are you going to focus on working to change your identity and tell yourself that you're you're a healthy person let me know in the comments which step you're going to take first make sure that you subscribe and like this video if you've enjoyed it because you know to be honest we want to spread the love like this stuff is juicy and this stuff is going to change lives so help me spread it to more mamas like yourself please so subscribe like do all of that stuff. Take care of yourself, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye!